Now what we have here is a three-phase drill press converted to a VFD so I can have a reversing drill press. So I'm going to go ahead and move in here and you can kind of see the control panel here. I've got speed right now. I've got the speed down at 10 hertz. I turn the control knob up to about halfway. Now I'm at 63. I continue on up and I've got it programmed to double the normal speed. I'm at 120 hertz. So I'm going to turn it back down here to the 10 hertz and we'll demonstrate the reversing function of the drill press. So down here I've got the foot pedal and so when you want to use the drill press for tapping go ahead and hit the button which starts it in reverse. So it's in reverse, it's at 10 hertz, let the thing go, now it goes forward and backwards, back and forth, so you can go ahead and tap a hole. It's a beautiful thing. Yes it is, it's a beautiful thing. And as long as we're rotating that, if we were drilling a hole and we wanted more speed, we would just turn the speed up and just keep turning it up. We got a small bit, we want to go pretty fast. There you go. most of my drilling and I have it all the way down at the 10 so I'm going to hit the stop button and it's going to be right there at the um, thing so we are we are loving this thing and it's been a great little tool for us here in the uh, Stefano Works shop so all right well I just got done drilling three holes here um, in this piece of quarter inch steel and we're going to go ahead and put a tap in it, number 440 tap and we're going to go ahead and tap some holes with the um, speed down to five cycles so I'm going to put her down and get the tap in so here we are again I'm going to put a little Tap magic on there, put a drop by each hole, and we're going to use the magic of a foot pedal control right here. And I'm going to push the foot pedal, which puts the drill press in reverse. And you can see how slow it's going right here. And I'm going to come down, and one of the things that putting it in reverse does is it helps to center the hole. And so now I'm going to release the foot pedal, start to go in, hit the three pedal, clear the chips, come back down in, and let it go all the way through that time. So you can see that it kind of hesitated a little bit there, so the chuck does slip a little bit. But at 5 hertz, I can come up here and I can grab onto the chuck and stall it so the torque isn't too excessive. So I'm still in the reverse mode and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get it close. Sorry for the jiggly thing here, but there. And so now I've kind of centered it up and I'm going to do the same thing. Go in, reverse, let her go, and a little further. Reverse, let her go in a little further this time. Reverse, clear the chips, and there we go. I've got a tapped hole, number 440, in steel. So it's pretty darn handy to be able to do this on multiple holes like this. So, so I'm going to move it over again, just to show you that it's not too hard. So center it up, let go, drill a little bit, pour out, pour in, pour out, 
All that with the magic of that foot pedal. It sure makes tapping a whole lot easier. You've got a straight hole, and you've got yourself a nice, easy way to tap. So, not just in aluminum. So, there you are. Way cool.